everyone. Welcome back to Triad Travelogues. My name is Richard and I'm coming at you today from the rooftop of a supermarket in Shanghai, China to bring you a little segment that I like to call Rants by Richard. <laughs> today we're going to talk about something that's very unpleasant and that is bodily discharge. That's right folks, we're going to talk about poop, pee, phlegm, hair follicles, skin flakes, saliva, basically anything that can be intentionally or unintentionally excreted from the human body bloop, right on the ground in front of you. Basically the very first thing that I hear every single day without fail when I leave my apartment, when I open my apartment door, I hear somebody hacking and spitting up phlegm all over the ground. Now, are they using a trash can to spit their disgusting lung gook? No, they're not. They're just spitting it all over the ground. And I hear this noise constantly. Here in Shanghai, it's literally, literally the most familiar noise to me. It's the thing I hear the most out of anything in the last two years that I've been in Shanghai. <sighs> I can't really, I can't really do it myself because, you know, I've actually, I've never hacked up phlegm and spit it on the ground ever in my life. Do you know why I've never done that? Because it's not necessary. I don't need to do that and you don't need to do it either. I see and hear the hacking and spitting in my apartment building. I hear it when I'm walking around Shanghai. It doesn't matter where I am, anywhere in Shanghai, I see it and I hear it. If I'm eating in a restaurant, I hear it. People will hack and spit phlegm on the floor while they're eating. And there's other people around them that are eating. They hack and spit in the bathrooms. They hack and spit on the escalator. They hack and spit in the elevator. They hack and spit while they're shopping. They hack and spit while they're drinking. They hack and spit while they're driving. And if you bring this up to people that do it, if you bring this up to people that hack and spit and you say, you know, that's really disgusting. The way that they justify it is by saying, well, in our culture, we believe that it's not good to keep the phlegm in our lungs. So it has to come out. So we got to just constantly spit it out. And okay, I got two responses to that. Number one, if it's there, it's probably serving some kind of purpose, right? I mean, it doesn't constantly have to be expelled. That just sort of doesn't make very much sense to me. And number two, all you are concerned about is yourself. Oh, it's good for my health to excrete my phlegm all over the street where children walk, where I walk. <laughs> You thought that the, that the phlegm was bad, that the spit all over the place was bad. No, no, that's nothing. That's nothing compared to the poop and the pee. And it's mostly from children that have pooped and peed in the street. And you know what? These kids, like it's such a problem here. It's so bad that they actually make pants for infants and for toddlers that have a line cut out of the crotch area so their junk just sort of hangs out. So you see kids walking around the store with their genitals just dangling, just hanging around, and their pants split open. And the reason that the parents do this, and the reason that these pants are manufactured, is so that they can squat and poop and pee whenever they feel like it. You see them peeing in the middle of the sidewalk, pooping in the middle of the sidewalk, you will see parents holding their children like this. Like imagine this is, is, a, is a busy sidewalk. People are walking this way and people are walking this way. You will see a parent standing and holding their child out like this with their pants down and just letting them pee in the walkway where everybody's walking. And you know the weirdest thing about it is that nobody, I mean, most of the time people don't even acknowledge that it's happening. Like, it's just totally normal. It's a totally normal thing to do, to poop and pee where everybody's walking. And another thing that you see really frequently is these parents holding up their child over a trash can. See, those are the, those are the, um, the polite parents and grandparents, the ones that use the trash cans instead of the grocery store floor. And they'll be holding their kid 
over the trash can and the kid's pooping and peeing into the trash can. And the trash can is right outside the door of the bathroom. If you ever confront one of these parents and you tell them, you know, it's really disgusting, your kid just pooed all over the vegetable aisle, I wanted some carrots. And now I have to go to another store to get them. Their justification is, well, it's really bad for them to have to hold all that waste inside. So they need to be able to excrete it as soon as humanly possible. So again, you are worried about the health and safety of your kid, but you're not worried about the health and safety of everybody else. You claim to be concerned about your kid's health. And that's why if they need a poop, if they need a pee, they're gonna do it right now. They can't wait the few seconds that it would take to walk four feet to the nearest bathroom. No, they have to poop right where they're standing. But you're not really concerned that much about your kid's health because they're walking around with their genitals exposed. Do you know how bad that is? The metro train is pretty dirty and I see kids all the time sitting there on those filthy seats with their genitals hanging out. Now those are openings into their bodies and all the pathogens and the bacteria and the phlegm and other kids poop and pee and God knows what else. All those things are festering there on that seat on the metro train and your kid's penis is hanging out. There is so much nose picking in this country. It is unbelievable. And I'm not talking about, you know, the sort of stealthy pick. I'm not talking about that. Or, you know, one of these, right? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about full on digging for gold nose picking like this. And I, they actually, sometimes I've seen people do it with two fingers. My point is they're not trying to hide the behavior. Ugh. That was really gross. And it isn't just nose picking that you see. It's just, it's picking in general. It seems like when people uh, are bored or they don't have anything to do, they sort of just pick at things, you know? Like they pick their noses, they pick at their face, they pick at their skin, they, they trim their, their, their fingernails, they trim their toenails on the metro. Okay, I have had, I used to take the metro early, early in the morning, downtown, back when my wife and I were, were, were first dating. We lived pretty far apart and I used to take the train to, to meet her every day. Sometimes I went there early in the morning. An early morning metro is packed full of people. And so you always have this just sort of bizarre behavior. Always somebody picking their nose, always somebody picking stuff off their face, right? Just like picking and it's a mindless picking. It's not conscious picking. It's not like, oh, here's something on my face that I need to pick at. It's not like that. It's just like, and sometimes they'll eat it. <laughs> You'll see people eating their boogers and the, the stuff that comes off their face, eating it. These are adults we're talking about. These are not children. These are adults. And I had this woman, I, you know, I got a seat. I was sitting down, there were no seats left. And this woman was standing over me and she was cutting her fingernails. And I, I had my mug of, of coffee that I, was, that I was drinking. And I see bloop, bloop. And I realize this woman is cutting her nails and the, the nail shards, the shreds, whatever they're called, the, the clippings are falling into my coffee. And I was very tired that day and I just didn't feel like arguing with somebody that, that doesn't speak my language and I don't speak their language. So I tried to use the language that I used to think everybody understood and that is facial expression. I looked up at her with the, the most disgust that I could possibly muster with only a facial expression. Ah, oh, you're disgust. Like I gave her, you know, the stink eye. I gave her the go to hell face, you know? 
and she just looked down at me, just with nothing going on in her eyes. She didn't care at all. Like she knew, she knew why I was upset. She saw that her, her nail clippings were falling into my coffee. She just didn't care. And you know what she did? She just looked back up and kept on clipping her nails. And I didn't drink my coffee that day. Now I could see maybe that, that people watching this are thinking to themselves, this guy is really petty. He's just picked out these sort of isolated incidents that have occurred to him and he's bitching about it on the internet. But the truth is, the truth is, this is a daily occurrence. The things that I've described to you, I see every single day. No joke, every single day, I see, well, I hear and see. I see children squatting and pooping in the middle of the street. I see parents holding their babies over the trash can so they can pee into the trash can that's three feet away from the bathroom. I see people picking their noses with two fingers and pulling out big nuggets and eating them on the metro train. And I see it every single day. So don't call me petty, okay? It's just impossible for me to assimilate that deeply to where I'm not concerned about all of the really disgusting bodily fluids that are literally covering every surface in this city. Well, that's all I really have to say about this today. Listen, if you liked this video, or even if you didn't like it, you should give it a big thumbs up and maybe leave a nice comment down below or a mean comment, I really don't care. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see new videos every single day. I'm Richard. Thank you for watching Triad Travelogs. I'll see you later.